We should try to make waffles with it. Yes! It's really cool, it looks like teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's volume. I'm so excited for today's video. I am reviewing a really cool hair styling tool. A volume. This is pretty much a hair volumizing flat iron or a hair straightener that gives you a lot of volume. It is so cool. So many of you reached out to me and asked me to review this product. It is not cheap. I believe it was like 129 on Amazon. So it's over a hundred dollars. So this is definitely an investment product. <laughs> it better work for that much money. I mean, the pictures, they pretty much sell the product. It's really cool. They have some really cool before and after pictures. So I also wanted to do a cool before and after shot, see if we get anything. My hair is feeling a little bit lifeless right now. It's a little bit limp. After the gym, I blow dried my hair to get rid of the sweat because I told you guys many times I don't wash my hair every single day. I rely on dry shampoo and my hair dryer. <laughs> so this is looking really good. This is the fourth day hair. It feels good, but it needs a little bit more volume. This hopefully will give that. This was on the very top, a little booklets. It says stop. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing your new award-winning. Yeah, it's award-winning. Break the volumizing iron volume. Before you begin, please note, a volume is not like a curling iron or crimper. So it has the lock and unlock. So you unlock it and you get this. That looks like a waffle maker. All right, let's turn this on. So you have the on and off button right here and then you have the temperature controller on the side right next to it as well, plus and minus. Is there a digital display? Yeah, look at that. That's nice. So let's start at 300 like they said and it actually counts down to when it heats up or it counts up. That's cool. That's really neat. That's good technology so far. It's a good validation. Yeah, that's really cool. And you also get three clips for your hair and you actually get a teasing comb also in that beautiful red color. And what else do you get? What is this? And to travel with, so you don't burn everything in your traveling suitcase. All right, let's do this. Let's try it out. Is it heated? It is heated. That was fast. So I'm just quickly reading the directions or what they recommend to do to get the best results. So what they say is the very top layer of your hair. So basically you just clamp it away and the front sections of your hair, you just want to leave it untreated is what they call it. And then you start with the layers underneath this top layer of hair, which is actually really great and smart. And they also recommend not to squeeze it and hold it for as long as you can, just clamp and let go. Clamp and let go on a section of hair. So obviously you wanna make sure you have your parting line set and then begin this. So I'm gonna keep my hair in the middle. So I'm just gonna take some hair. Just use a hair clip and bring it to the other side. Let's start with some of this hair right here. All right, let's try this. Clamp, 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 all right. So you see it does create a sort of a crimping effect, but it's actually pretty subtle. So I'm only doing three clamps because I don't wanna go all the way down. All right, so I'm just continue sectioning this hair off. So it's actually really easy. Clamp, hold, and I'm barely squeezing it. So it's just kind of doing the job for me. Okay, it's adding some volume. That's actually really good. I like that. Wow. All right, let's bring this section back over. Hide that. <laughs> Hide that little crimp. I mean, yeah, you can already see more, obviously. Look at that. By taking smaller sections or smaller layers and adding a little bit more, you'll get a lot more volume, obviously. Wow, not bad. That's not bad at all. We need the wig. <laughs> So if you need like instant volume, 
that's great. That's really cool. And I'm not taking the hair that's also closest to my face because I don't want that effect. So I am barely, I'm not even squeezing. I just clamp, hold, clamp, hold, clamp, hold. Obviously, if you have longer hair, you can go much longer than I am, but I'm not going as far as the bottom of my hair just because I don't want that effect down there. <laughs> so clamp, hold, clamp, hold, clamp, hold. What do you think of this? Waffle maker? Yeah. <laughs> I still can't get over the waffle maker look. I mean, I've never been into crimpers, so I'm not 100% sold on this. I personally wouldn't do this every single day. I am kind of getting hungry for waffle. True, true that. But I mean, it is really neat, especially if you need a lot of volume at the top of your head for an updo of some sort. So that's really great. Instead of using a crimper, this seems like it's a little bit safer for your hair. It is adding a good amount of volume. And I do have a set only at 300 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go a little bit low. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's volume, but I do see the little crimping effect in between, but it's not horrible where you look, you know, crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the back quickly. Let's finish this off. This is actually very quick. I'm surprised how quick this is. All right, so this is what the hair looks like without teasing or anything like that. I didn't brush it out, I just left it as it is. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely a lot of hair. It's definitely a lot of volume right here, but not so much at the very top of my head. Just because it is parted in the middle, it definitely would have a lot more volume if I did part it on the side. That would definitely look incredible, but I would not leave it just like this because there's a little too much happening on the side of my head. It's making my head look big. I'm gonna take the teasing comb and tease it a little bit with the hair that we didn't crimp or volume <laughs> because this is not a crimper. All right, let's do this. But I just personally don't like teasing my hair if I don't have to. I want to mention this product right here. It doesn't get extremely close to your roots, but it gets close enough to where you get that volume, which is great if you do want that. So overall, my thoughts, I think this product does work. It does create volume. You can see it for yourself. It speaks for itself. I think it's really great. For me personally, I don't need this product in my life. I'm definitely not gonna keep reaching for it because the type of hair that I have, it's very fine and thin, but I do have a lot of it. So I don't really need the extra volume. I have my other methods that work very well for me in my hair. But I think this product would be incredible for those that have really fine, thin hair and not a lot of it and just weighs down and it's lifeless and you want that volume, perfect for you. Or if you have very long and heavy hair that you just can't get volume whatsoever, I think this would be really good for you as well. I mean, the reviews on this product is amazing and so many of them say they have really long, heavy hair and this is a godsend. And I mean, it creates volume, it's great. It's a great product, it works. So there we have it for this review. Let me know what other products you guys want me to test out. Thank you for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.